How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to be doing another installment on things mechanics see in the workshop every day. So I'm going to be taking you for a commentary step by step play of things that I've seen over the last number of months and showing you the weird and wonderful things that we get to do in the workshop every day. <laughs> So the first one here is a collapsed lower ball joint. This is on the right hand side of a Ford and it's caught on the rotor. Customer complaint in this one was the steering was stiff and he was hearing a noise. Um, when I went to bring it into the workshop it felt like the brake was jammed on. This left hand side here you can see the clearance that's there. Um, but just bear in mind that for something to get to this stage in a lower ball joint it's got to have play for a very long time and someone has been ignoring some noises long before that um that actual collapse happened uh, what happens is it erodes on the ball joint then it drops down locks against the rotor and you get all that wear this is me halfway through the job assessing the damage on that ball joint and how badly worn it is so you get some noises in your car especially going over bumps and they're consistently there or starting to get worse you certainly want to get them checked and not let it get to this level this next one is a harmonic balancer that actually when it wasn't hot was staying intact but when it was heating up it was just free spinning away so then as it cooled down um the harmonic balancer insert would kind of melt back together again um a new harmonic balancer sorted this problem out but it's not something you see every day where it was just free spinning away this one here is a four by four that came in for a major uh, oil leak um, unfortunately for this one this was a major fault uh, the crank had uh, a lot of free play in it so when we assessed and we took off that harmonic balancer uh, you can kind of see it wobbling uh, in the images there but when we assessed it there was loads of movement on the bottom crank and that's because this engine had been mapped and there was a lot of work done on it but unfortunately it wasn't upgraded on the bottom end and uh, that needed a lot more work this one just very simple straightforward one uh, the seal had completely um, swollen on this brake reservoir not something I'd seen before either and uh, it just spilled all down the back now if safety is your first priority this certainly isn't something that you would ever do four cable ties in a seat belt this is something that uh, was hidden by one of those uh, shoulder straps so those safety straps but i felt uncomfortable and i felt tight and as i pulled it back i was able to see that there was four cable ties in it this customer decided to do a coolant flush themselves and uh, you can see all the bubbles that are coming out there were some issues happening afterwards um, long story short in this one a proper coolant flush through and a bleed up of the system and this was all solved again this customer came in for a balance hoping that their problem will go away but with uh, I think nearly 700 grams plus of uh, issues and balance it's not going to go away that easily uh, this was a blower motor again on a Ford I believe this was that had completely melted had to do a bit of work on this had to uh, uh, do a bit of rewiring and connections on it after the uh, new blower motor came everything was melted together but got it all back together and working again the motor caused higher resistance um, Other way. and that led to that connector melting this is a simple uh, regulator one on a BMW a little bit of time. Uh, I think this is the right hand rear on a BMW X5 if I remember correct and that's just me assessing make sure the motor is working away but you can see the cables are spinning and this here is the back end of a vehicle with the lower um, shock bushes completely worn out causing a knocking noise and excessive play over bumps 
And that is it for this uh, installment of Things Mechanics C in the workshop. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.